under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. It should be a good Diamond Dynasty matchup tonight between the Pirates and the Twins. We've got baseball. Now at the plate, here is Fernando Tatis Jr. He'll get us started in this one the under the lights. The shortstop, Fernando Tatis. First offering on its Jr. way. Chopped weakly to the right. Seven o'clock. And boy, was he ever fooled on that pitch. It's 0-2 now. Protecting with two strikes, went out of the zone that time, but he stays alive. The next 0-2. There's one down now. So one out and nobody aboard and that'll bring up Jake Cronenworth. Here's the first pitch. On a line that's a base hit. That is third. The first baseman. Paul. Into the box now, Paul Canerco. As he'll go after the first pitch and promptly line one into left center field, and that's going to get down for a base hit. Oh, and the throw back in is a wild one. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across to score. That is cool. Stepping in now, Gary Sanchez. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. On the ground is short. This could be two. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. That'll bring up Luis Arise. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. For the twin. Now the, the second pitch. Baseman, Luis Arias. He'll take a look at a strike right down the middle. It's 0-1. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And he will coast into second with a leadoff double. That is second. The left fielder, Jake Kane. So here's Jake Cave to the plate as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty. It's strike one. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled the ball one and one. Left side, but well foul. And it's fouled away. Here he comes again, one, two. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. That is set hurt. and the pitch. The right as he will swing and miss on a fastball on the outer half. It's strike one. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0 2 now. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team, that not afraid good. to execute. Into center field, oh, line yeah. drive base hit. Okay. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run comes across to score on the play, tying the ball game. That is good. Josh Donaldson digging in now. Strike Jump. one to start the at bat. Donaldson. Fastball and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. On 0 2 here. A swing and a miss. That retires the side. All set for the start of the inning. And digging in is the outfielder, Aaron Judge. First pitch of the AB on its way. As he can't make contact and is tied up here at strike one. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Tried to get him to go after the slider, but it's one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Into the windup and the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Here's Nelson Cruz now. First pitch on its way. Nelson Cruz. Popped him up. 
Therefore, it is Donaldson, and there are two away now. Here's Nolan Arenado. First offering on its way. Hit on the ground out to short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. The first baseman. Fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. And he takes strike two. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first seven, out. Seven. The catcher, Mitch. Mitch Garver, Garver comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the inning. Batting eight. Not shortstop. Jorge. Jorge Polanco oh, is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Man, that's seven straight strikes to start this inning. He's got a chance at an immaculate inning. And it's quickly 0-2. This is in the air out to left field. And Cruz will put this one away to retire the side. Now it'll be Willie Stargell as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. First pitch coming. Here it is. Tap down the line. Now here's a swing by Stargell and he gets a lot of this pitch out to deep right field and gone an absolute bomb. In now Bob Feller as he will line this one into right center and this is going to get down and should be extra bases. He's through first and hustling for second. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. Now Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. And there's a line drive base hit to left field. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. And at the plate is Jake Cronenworth. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball 1-0. This is pulled into right. Cruz is there. Let's see if they try it. And no shot of testing anything there. He'll hold on at third with one gone. Runners at the corners here with one gone in the inning. And that'll bring up the first baseman, Paul Canerco. Center fielder on the run. And the play is made, but this should be good enough for an RBI as the runner from third tags up. And the run is in to score from third. It's now three to one. Now back. So now it'll be the four hole hitter Gary Sanchez 0 for 1 for him here in this one just a tick behind for a strike Woo, not a spot you expect a curveball he's lucky he missed because that's the kind of pitch that gets hit out of the ballpark and again a throw and he is tagged out here boy a bad mistake that time as he's picked off to end the inning. And now the Twins pitcher, Kenta Maeda, as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. The pitcher. Off the plate and away there. One ball, no strikes. Maeda. One ball and one strike to the Twins pitcher. Here's a breaking ball, but it doesn't quite find the strike zone. You certainly know he's not trying to work around the pitcher. But sometimes nope. the hardest thing to do is to throw a strike to a guy that you know won't swing the bat. 3 1 is a fastball and he can't connect 3 and 2. Okay, if you're in this lineup right here, game on, boys. I know he's got power stuff, but if he, he's going to come middle of the plate, you better be ready to pull the trigger. And that's out number one. Back to the Go top back. of the order Number now, two. and next to Second hit will be Luis Arise. Oh, oh yeah. And he pops him up, drifting toward the left side of the infield. Arenado will look this one in, and that's out number two. 
Now batting. Ready Left to deliver. Field. Here comes the first Jake. pitch. Jake. Jake Cave will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. That elevated fastball right there. That is the biggest change in the game today for me. When I first. And the center fielder is under it to make the catch, and the inning is over. Stepping up is Gary Sanchez. He'll lead things off against Kenta Maeda. I'm interested to see how focused their ABs will be playing with this. Lead. Meanwhile, now, this ball's trouble as it looks like it'll be good for extra bases. And he is into second base with a leadoff double. And that'll bring up Aaron Judge as he's well in front of the curveball and comes up empty there for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Fouled off. 3 to 1 is our score here in inning number four. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Stepping in next, Nelson Cruz, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matt, he's got to make an adjustment right here. His swing definitely broke down, dropped his back shoulder, and thus the result was a terrible pop up foul. And that'll bring in Nolan Arenado. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Lifted into center field. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in the outfielder, Nelson Cruz. The right fielder. And he'll lay off the fastball here in a good spot, Rude. but ruled the ball 1 0. Counts even at 1 1 to Nelson Cruz. One ball, one hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. He's able to take the ball the other way here. High and deep to right center. But it bangs off the out of town scoreboard. Here's Byron Buxton now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. And he fouls this one off. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Get it ready, big boy. This guy's throwing three digits right here. The best way I can help the fans is 90 to 92. You can usually see seams. 92 to 95. And this ball's pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. Cruz is back to the track as he takes it for out number two. Max Kepler, the next to grab a bat, comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. Started the breaking ball far too inside that time, laid off for ball one. Popped up. Cronenworth over to his right, and that's the third out. Stepping in, Willie Stargell. And we'll see what he can do here after going deep his first time up. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. The battle. The pitcher. Bob. To the plate now. Bob Feller. Hit back up the middle. There's one. On to first, so they let the pitcher swing away here, and it turns into a double play. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. He's working on a one for two game so far. Yanked on the ground down the line. The throw to first beats him easily, and the side is retired. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. And next to hit is the catcher, Mitch Garver. High and deep down the left field line. Garver. And that will end up a foul ball. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in trouble now, 0-2. 
There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Up next for Minnesota, Jorge Polanco flew out in his only at bat so far. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Next, it'll be Kenta Maeda. He bounced out last time up. Maeda. And a strike called at the knees, nothing in one. One of the biggest factors on how long you're going to go to start is how many first pitch strikes you throw. 80% usually means you're going to have a pretty good day, and that's on the menu so far. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And he struck him out, his eighth punch out of the ball game, and that one ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up Jake Cronenworth. Here's the first pitch. Jake oh, one pitch, and he can't make contact on the bender. 0 oh, and 2. Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier, making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. Now that the first baseman. Oh. So now to the plate, Paul Canerco. He grounds it sharply to third. One there, on to first, and they get the double play. Next up is Gary Sanchez. He doubled his last time through. Yeah, he jumped all over that first pitch last time up. Interested to see if he has the same approach this A.B. Owen won the count. And he falls behind Owen, too. We're in the sixth inning here in a 3-1 to one ball game. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. The throw to first is in time, and the inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, Luis Arias. The second baseman. A high fastball is in there. Hey, the guy on the mound is absolutely pounding the zone, and that's why he's been able to stay and pitch deep into this game. On. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. The bat, the left fielder, Jake, Jake Cave, Cave is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0 and 1. It's been more than two innings since this guy's allowed anyone to reach base. He looks pretty unbeatable on the bump right now. Out in front of that one, but he stays alive and will do it again on 0 and 2. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Up next to the game. The right field. And Nelson. it's fouled away. Through. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Hey, a two out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Boy, they've been just getting shut down right here. Been a while since they've even had a runner on. So I think it's time to start looking for ways to make some things happen. Drop a bunt, get up on the plate, something. Fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Here's big Aaron Judge. No hits to this point. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Hard hit towards center. He dives. Did he catch that? He did. What a play there for the first down. So one away now. Here's Nelson Cruz. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Now a drive by Cruz. Deep left field.
Hansel Ladies Robles gentlemen. comes on to pitch here with one man gone in the top of the seventh. Number 57. Hansel. At the plate now, Nolan Arenado. And he puts it on the ground to second. And there's his first base hit in this one. At the plate, Willie Stargell. He'll swing and lift a ball foul off to the left and out of play. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Has a look, now the pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. That's through a base hit, and he's got his third hit of the game. Into the box, Bob Feller, as he'll get out ahead of a changeup and swing through it for strike one. One for two in the ball game thus far. Ball one. And it's one and two. Hey, if he's going to get swings and misses at balls up and out of the zone, he's going to continue to go there. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Now to the plate. Here is Fernando Tatis Jr. Grounded out in his last at bat. First offering on its way. Swing and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. Gone all the way into the upper deck. Griffin Jacks enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Into the box now, Jake Cronenworth. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Racing back the center fielder, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Now batting, the first baseman, Paul Standing in now, Paul Canerco, as he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Sky down the left field line. Left fielder is on the move. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Last half of the seventh here, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. He swings field. and hits it foul right. off to the right and out of play. Buxton. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate, 0 and 2. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0 2 count. Swing and a miss. Five straight strikeouts now, and there's one gone. Now back. Here's the third baseman, third baseman. Josh Donaldson. It Josh. was a flyout for him in his Donaldson. last trip. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep his last oh, AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard, this AB. And he'll take a look at a strike on the inside corner. It's one and two. Fouled off. Rarely do you see a player of this caliber fooled that badly, but he was tied up in now knots that time. Two away now. Baseman, Max no balls and a strike to count. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. Crowds him a bit with a fastball there, and it's to one and one. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. I mean, you look in the dugout right now, you see steam coming out of the hitting coach's ears. Somebody has to stay back and find a way to get a knock. And he's going to add to the total 14 punch outs now as that ends the inning. So stepping in is Gary Sanchez. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. First pitch coming, here it is. Now the fastball is swung on and missed. 
I can't imagine he was sitting on fastball at his neck right there. He is going to have to lower his sights if he's going to have any chance. Throw on the first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Next to dig in, Aaron Judge. And he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. One ball, no strikes the count. The 1 0 home. Line to short, but gobbled up there, and there are two away. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. When I broke into the league, not many guys were throwing that elevated fastball with that much velocity on it. The game has changed. Cave is there, and he'll put it away to retire the side. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And now it'll be the catcher, Mitch Garver. The catcher. On the ground to third. Garver. And the inning begins with a quick out number one. The next twin up Jorge Polanco as he'll dig into the left handed batter's box. Yeah, this is his power side, Matt. He definitely quite a bit more pop in his bat swinging left handed. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. He didn't get him to offer at that pitch right there, but that big 12 to 6 curveball is definitely part of the reason he's having such good success in this one. Got him. And that's number 15 for the ball game. Williams Ostadio will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Now Farrell comes on to pitch now hoping for better results than the other arms that they've run out there in this one. First pitch on the way and we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here nothing in one. Chopper to short. Throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Into the box, Willie Stargell singled in his last at bat. Now here's the first offering. Shot towards second, but this is going to be hauled in out there at second base for out number two. Next up, Bob Feller struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. And he'll step out and ask for time. Maybe trying to get this pitcher out of the rhythm he's in right now. Nick Madrigal gets the call as a pinch hitter, and he'll get a chance with two out and the base is empty. Swing and a line drive. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Raleigh Fingers, a six foot four inch right hander, comes in out of the bullpen to do the pitching. To the plate now, Luis Arias, strike one to start the at bat. The second baseman. Missed low and inside with it, one and one. Boy, that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off a hard breaking ball at the back foot. Tough take on a terrific pitch. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here, one away. The bat. As with one away, he can't make contact on the first pitch. It's strike one. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Again, he sends it out of play. One out, nobody on. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Now batting, right fielder. Nelson Cruz Nelson. is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0-0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the break. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. 
this one was pretty evenly matched coming in. Two spring training teams, but someone's got to win. Either way, both of these teams will look to move up the ranks and continue building a formidable squad. 7-1, the final score in tonight. The Pirates First led this game from the third team. inning on and never Seven wavered. Bob Feller hits. takes home the no win. Error. So that just about does it for days. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The One Show. For more, make your way over days. to the new website, theshow.com. Time of the ball game. Two hours.